Hello everybody, we return with The Sims 3 Supernatural. Last time, Vray accomplished her lifetime wish. We were using so many potions last episode. Um, I think Thornton might still be frozen in gold at the bar. Uh, ooh, yeah, there's Thornton. <laughs> but we also used a young and old elixir. I don't know what, I forgot what they were called, but we made... Earl Young, and we made Burl old, and I gave them both makeovers in the intermission, and I'll show you them shortly. Uh, we also had Vray and Marcus conceive a child. Vray is prego, although she didn't get the notification yet. Uh, Marcus, you're just gonna... Sorry, Thornton. You're just gonna sit here? How long... How much longer? He's gonna be here for two more hours. I I'm gonna thaw him out. I think I have my cheats on. Yeah, yeah sorry. Sorry, Thornton. <laughs> Head home, my guy. Sorry for, um, freezing you in gold. That was kind of rude of us. But for this episode, I, I kind of want to try and finish Thornton's lifetime goal, which is right here. He needs to drink from two more Sims, and then he's done. And then all we have left is uh, Trisha, and Trisha's almost there too. She needs to improve her skills today, but she's getting there. So Thornton, you have a friendship potion on you. Why don't we use this to drink from somebody that we haven't drank from before? I don't know who we haven't drank it from. Maybe you, invite over? <laughs> 20 hours? Hell no. Um, have we drank from Rainflower Ivy? Alright, Rainflower's coming. Now, I have decided, I think we're gonna leave Nixie single and childless. I feel like she's too immature to commit to a relationship, let alone having a child of her own. I think she'll be an awesome aunt, like an awesome friend to a family, but having an actual family of her own, eh, maybe one day, but not today. And let's see, are they awake? Okay, Burl is awake. Bur Bur put some Burl. Put some clothes on, please. Every time I go to, like, restyle an elder, I always forget how little clothes there are for the elders. So, here's Burl, a little older, and, um, quite overweight. And here is Earl, if you could change it to your everyday outfit. I made Earl our 90s tech nerd. <laughs> so, there, there he is. Okay. Uh, Thornton. Thornton, Thornton, Thornton. First off, you need to know about boost. Uh, Trisha, your skills suck. Go research some alchemy, please. Okay. Thornton, I need you to go here with your group, get everybody in one position. Oh god, Marcus is drinking one of the potions! I don't know what he drank. Oh god. <laughs> and he's still under the previous spell. Uh, Chlorofrog. Alright, awesome. You got your groups here. Let's... Throw this elixir at... Valerie. There we go. Now we're best friends. We are gonna drink from you. Uh, no. Blake, really? Really, Blake, really. You you don't show up to your best friend's wedding, and then you try to invite his wife on a date? I'm, I'm shaking my head. Blake has really disappointed me this Let's Play. Uh, Burl doesn't feel drained. Burl feels drained of energy. Oh, that sucks for Burl. Uh... Kiss Valerie? No. No. First off, 
I don't know why that animation is broken. I know we're at, he needs to drink from one more sim, so frankly, I don't care. But, like, I don't think I put any... Uh, lean me, no... I need friendship elixirs. We have more? Because Thornton can't make friends. He is terrible at making friends. Okay, we don't have one. Um... Okay, Vray, need you to mix one. Trisha, please take a break. Uh, what do you need to improve on? Your private readings? Okay, cool. Why don't you give a private reading to Burl? Give a private reading to Marcus, private reading to Alice. Just go around the house giving everybody private meet private meetings, private readings. Now, one other thing is, I want to try and repair Thornton and Alice's relationship legitimately. And I kind of want them to have another kid. And we're also going to have Ray and Marcus try for another kid if they don't get multiples. So that's going to leave the house pretty clogged up. So I decided that at the end of the day, we are going to move Burl and Kissa out. We're going to move them right across the street. I made a little lot over here. Uh, ooh, we don't have enough money for that. Break into home. That, that's a mod. That's, that's, that's not Burl. <laughs> um, but we could sell some stuff from Vray's inventory and be able to make that. Oh god, Marcus. And I want to make sure they're friends with everybody before we leave, so... So yeah, we're gonna need lots of friendship potions. Uh, Jar Potent Friendship. Make that very please. Trisha's doing, doing her rounds. Oh snap, Vray Prego! Ray poppin'. Did she make those elixirs like I asked her to, though? Cause... Damn it, she didn't. Come on, Ray. Let it kick in. Baby bump kick in. Oh, that. Oh, Ray. Ray, you're feeling a tummy that's not even there. <laughs> oh, Ray, love you. I love you. Clone drone, no. Potent friendship. We're gonna have you do it like three times. So Ray wants to have a boy. She wants to get a massage. Okay, what about you, Marcus? You don't really care? Well, I mean, how can Marcus care? He's passed out. Hey, you two want to take care of the garden? Or at least Nixie? Tend to the garden, please. Oh, now I see her different wings. So, let me see. I want to change her wings again with that lifetime reward we got. Uh, I can't click on her because she's on a dead zone. Fairy wings. Change wing color. Magenta. That's cool. Dang, Alice scaring the cat away. Why'd you put the baby here? Okay, we're making another potent friendship elixir. How many did she make prior? Okay, three. I'm going to give... Hold on. I'm just going to give one to Thornton. And I'll give these other two to Burl. Uh, who's passed out on the floor from drinking. <laughs> uh, you're going to throw this at Earl. You're going to throw this other one at Nixie. Or right, you know what? Do, do Nixie last. Throw this other one at Trisha. And Thornton, with your elixir, you're gonna throw this at Rainflower Ivy. I really wish this family would put some clothes on. Like, I don't know why so many of my sims don't like to put their clothes on. 
Why am I sim so loose? Marcus is still sleeping through this radio. How much longer are you having this, Marcus? Take 22 hours. I'm gonna get rid of that moodlet for him if it's 22 hours. That's gonna be really annoying. Uh, no, 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 no. Potent friendship. Boom. Okay, now Thornton, sorry. I'm juggling between Sims here. Need you to drink from him. With your broken animations. Okay, Burl is now best friends with his brother. And Thornton has completed his lifetime goal. So he's officially turned the town. Alright, uh, you guys can go. Get out. Bye-bye. Alright, he's leaving. Now... I want him and Alice to try and repair their relationship. Okay, I don't know why these guys are getting reset all the time. Is something wrong with their house? Like, is there an obstacle here or something? No. So, what's wrong? I don't even know why I can see in their house. Uh, hunt? Hunt! You could go hunting as a vampire? Does it just choose, like, who's a better victim or something? I don't know. We might go out on the club today to... For like a farewell celebration of Burl and Kissa leaving, so maybe we'll hunt over there. As for Vray, she's made some more friendship elixirs. Let's give these. Let's give these to Kissa. And Kissa can go around throwing these at. Why are you enemies with Earl? Throw that at him. Throw that at Alice. Throw that at Thornton. You're already friends with Nixie, so that's good. Actually, Kiss is doing a lot better with relationships compared to everyone else. Alright, Nixie's taking care of her garden. Trisha, why are you holding that baby? What business do you have with that baby? Does the baby know how to... Teach the baby to talk. Because I would love to age that baby up into a child. Uh, no. And Thornton. You are not talking with your mistress. That's friendly. Let's ask about her day. Because Thornton needs a strong mistress by his side. And maybe he jumped the gun with Alice. Maybe they should try again. And besides, Thornton, Thornton Jr. loves his mama. Let's not break up the relationship. Uh, hypnotic gaze. I feel like Thornton would still be very scandalous, though. Um, no. So, let me see. What does this moodlet do? You make come true. Dazed. Whoa. What? What happened? Alice is in a daze and having trouble remembering what to do next. So, we're sociable now. Let's show off our teeth. Alright, this relationship is going up very slowly. Oop. Listen, Alice, you better be receptive to this relationship. Just saying, otherwise you out. You out. I will I will rip Thornton Jr. from your arms, you will be out on the streets. Alright, so... Oh, I don't want to cheat their relationship. <laughs> he just... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Alright, let's try... A heat of the moment kiss. Is she receptive? No, she's not. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know what to do. Should we just ditch this relationship? 
Who else are you friends with, Thornton? Do you have any friends? Anyone in this house? I mean, the only other, like, Sudas is Nixie. Nixie, you want to hook up with Thornton? I know I just said you would be irresponsible, but... Um, okay, you know what? You know what? We're gonna try something. We're gonna give her some flowers. Oh, he's trying to flirt again. Now she's receptive to the flirt. And now he, she's threatening him. Yeah, this is not going well. Intimidate. Criticize her family because she doesn't have any family. Oh god. Thanks, she didn't care about that. She was like, yeah, that's cute. Kabutsi. Oh, you are- wait, 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 wait! You are criticizing her son? That's your son, Thornton! She's like, that's your son, Thornton. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh god, we about to beat her up. This did not go well. Oh god. Oh damn! Oh damn, Thornton getting beat! Ooh! Ooh! Dang! Dang, Thornton got beat! I thought he had a high athletic skill. What is her athletic skill? She has lower athletic skill than him. How did she win that fight? I have no idea, but she just kicked his ass. This did not go well at all. Oh. Wow, imagine getting yelled at while being frozen. Oh, Thornton. Oh, Thornton. Thought I could hook you up. I really did. <laughs> you see Nixie cheering him on? Oh my god, Nixie, you... <laughs> You be, Nixie. I'm gonna have you try something. This is horrible. Um. Try giving him some flowers. Ooh. He was receptive to that. Uh, no. Um, hmm. I don't know if I want Nick's. Why can't she only give flowers to him, though? Why can't they actually, like, flirt? Hold on. Thornton. Oh, sorry, Nixie. Clicking your butt. Why can they not flirt? Complain about Alice. Uh, convince to flirt. Can other people flirt? Is it just Nixie who's bugged out? Trisha, could you flirt with Marcus? Yeah, you could. Um... Alright, hold on. I'm gonna reset Nixie. I don't know why she can't flirt. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, reset. Boom. You know what? While we're at it, I'm gonna reset Thornton as well, just to be safe. Uh, no. Why does everybody want to date my Sims? Leave us alone. Uh, Amaros, Master Controller. Let us reset you. See, when you have too many sims in the household, stuff like this happens. Alright, is free will on? Why aren't these sims taking care of themselves? Go 
if if you're dirty, go sponge bath or something. You too. Only get flowers. Why can't I do anything else with him? No, I don't want to get. I don't want to do that. It's saying convince too, as if we're like still in a party. Do we have any other guests still at the house? No. Is our party from the bar technically over? Ooh, collect that money though. Because our wedding might not technically be over yet. There might still be people here. Which, if that's the case, I'm going to reset this lot. And that should have it count as the party being over, right? Wait, so can... Yeah, they're like bugged out as if they're still at a party. That's... Ah, oh, do I have to reset all my sims? I don't want to reset the town. That takes so long. Alright, we're resetting the town. Hold on. Alright, town has been reset. Um, let's see if Nixie can flirt with Thornton. No, she cannot. So, I guess they're not going to be. Oh well. Maybe when we move Kissa and Burl out, it'll like fix itself. Nixie thanks Thornton. Blindingly stunning. Oh, jeez. Why are you guys like this? Get flowers. Can I... See, everyone else can flirt. Oh. Uh, alright. Maybe Thornton just doesn't need a partner. Alright, whatever. I kind of want him to have another kid, but now I don't know who the... Who the mama should be. Maybe he'll just have Thornton Jr. Maybe we'll leave it at that. We'll give up on that idea. Alright, well, it is getting kind of... Late in the day. Uh, Trisha, I need you to put that baby down. Put down Thornton up here. And I need someone to read the newspaper. Do we still get newspapers delivered here? Um, hmm. Where are the newspapers? Pay the bills, get the mail. I, I don't know what's going on with my game, why it's not loading. Yeah, I guess I take it back. That That's not gonna work. What the hell is this? Motive decay modifier do not translate. Some of the Sims' motives won't decay over time. What? Delete that. Anyone else have creepy moodlets? Um, oh, this is Nixie for mastering her charisma skill. Uh, Drake. Uh, congrats on getting married. We got some gifts in the mail. Oh, Burl bought something nice of him. <laughs> oh, the Sim we burnt to a crisp bought something. Kissa got something. Nixie even got us something nice. Nice, thank you, everybody. Um, I guess we don't know what the hotspot is since we don't have a newspaper. Uh, oh wait, is that it? Oh, snap. Read that. Yeah, I don't know. Thornton's weird. Maybe he's not meant to have anybody. Oh god, full moon. Lunacy. Oh man. 
now she's gonna be like stupid, and Marcus just transformed. Thornton just peed himself. Lisa, oof. I, I thought I moved Lisa out. Huh? Uh, we're we're gonna do it because. Yeah. There is no Lisa LaPouf. Oh my god, Thornton just beat himself twice. Are you kidding me, Thornton? Okay, Alice, can you just read that newspaper like I asked? I just want to know what the hotspot is. In the meantime, maybe Thornton go clean up or something. Go take a bubble bath or something. Oh. These two are chatting it up. <laughs> Who peed this time? Burl. Oh my god, Marcus just had to scare everybody. Now they're everybody's peeing their pants. Okay, go shower, please. Let's have everybody get ready. Kissa, this baby. Trisha. The baby's crying. Please just shut it up. Kudra, Renz Gazi. Oh, Zamasi Sabso. Vini, Bidakush, Gaskali, and so Wada, Mezga, Suko. Here we'll have them. We'll ever do a little gossip and leave it at that. Uh, did you tell Marcus you're pregnant yet? Hmm. 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 Uh, let's announce pregnancy, let's play fetch with wand. Let's go play fetch with the wand. And are we learning about the hotspots? Oh, oh, some other people. No, Victor, you don't live here. Alright, come on, Bray. Listen, I'm Prego. Oh god, are they going outside to play? Maybe we could play at the bar. Hold on, I want everybody to have a good time today. So, who knows the hotspot? You know the hotspot? Where's the hotspot? Where is the hotspot? Hotspot's over here. Oh, it's where we went yesterday. Shoot, I don't want to go here again. Let's go to the, um... Which one was it? Toadstool? Toadstool or Red Velvet? Anybody at Red Velvet Lounge? Um... Let's go with Toadstool. Alright, so we'll have Marcus Drive. This is Toadstool with Alice, Burl, Earl, Kissa, Nixie, Thornton, Trisha, Ray. Lunatic Slap. Uh, please don't get Lunatic Slapped. Let's go, everybody. Oh, is that a zombie? Oh god, no zombie attacks, please. Just everybody get in the car. Silence your phones if they're ringing. Damn phone is the hat. Alright, we are here. Or is everybody not here? Well, listen. Who brought the baby? Oh my god. Earl is excitable. Yeah, that's. Okay, Marcus, I'm about to silence your phone. Lunatic Embrace? Uh, no. Good 
Go scratch the furniture or something. <laughs> this is more people than I can handle at once. I've got to get out of here. I think we'll move Alice out today, too. Freak out. Alright, why is everybody calling? Is the game, like, dying or something? Uh, congrats, you just received a rare dram. Drake wants to know if Nixie will go on a date. Fine! Here, I want to see what them playing the fetch looks like, so let's, um, compliment for sure. And then, um, request feel tummy. Uh, you, you could rub his belly, I guess, sure. One belly rub to another. Sure, we'll do that. And there it is. Keep a few interactions. How's everybody else doing? Everybody enjoying themselves? Oh, Zombie attack. No, Thornton, no. I will... I will burn... this zombie. Fire blast. No one else is being attacked by a zombie, right? This is kind of a disaster, huh? You know what? I forgot. Just, just banish this bitch. Yeah, first let's burn him up. So you're gonna banish him? Kissa, can you banish this one too? Banish that one. Banish them both. Marcus. First off, she cancelled all my interactions. I hate that. You know I hate that. Here, play fetch with the wand. Um, do all those other interactions I wanted you to do. Uh, compliment the fur, sure, whatever. Request feel tummy. And then feel his. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, everybody's drinking up here. That's good. Alright, so let's see what this is like. Nixie, how's your day going? Looks like it's going okay. I genuinely forgot Nixie already had a romantic interest. Uh, Alright. Chattering teeth. Wait, closing time already? What a lame outing. And wait, wait, who left the baby? Pick up that baby. Pick up that baby. Okay, Marcus, your fatherly instincts are kicking in. That's fine. Take the baby home. Everybody, we're going home. We're going home, we're going home. Yeah, everybody hated this outing. Sorry. We went out a little too late. Alright. Actually, Nixie, I don't want you going out. Because I want you to sell... Everything you have in your inventory. Uh, so the sentient blanket. We're gonna go to the grocery store and sell all of our fruits and veggies. Uh, for some cash. Alice, you have anything here too? Not enough. I mean, we could just sell yours from the inventory. We could just sell yours from the inventory? Hello? Thank you. Why does she have garlic on her? I thought vampires hate garlic. 
Ah, uh, Sims 3 is confusing the hell out of me today. Nixie, I want you to run to the grocery store. It's right here, grocery store. Sell all fruits and veggies. Dang, we're still not gonna have enough. We have to... We have to dip into Bray's inventory and start selling some stuff. Um... Ooh, hot dang, these sell for a lot. Bye-bye. Now we can afford that house. Alright, the Sims who aren't leaving, let me cue them up to sleep. So, Thornton go to sleep, Marcus... is gonna freak out, and then Lunatic slap Burrow. Alright, fine, whatever. Kissa... Sorry, this is Trisha, Trisha's going to bed. Nixie's going to sell her groceries like I asked her to. Vray is not doing what I asked her to. Can't sleep while the baby's crying. Someone fix this baby. Marcus, please, this child is... This child is killing me. And the baby's not even hungry. Wake the baby up. Change that dirty diaper. Put the baby up over here. Pick the baby up, please. Marcus. Thank you. Change that diaper. Put the baby down up here. And then head to sleep. Head to sleep. Nixie, did you... Oh, Nixie sold the, sold the stuff. Okay. Victor Bean. Who the hell is Victor Bean? No, I don't know. Uh, let's give Kissa this sloppy jalopy. Why not? Actually... Um, I don't know if they'll be able to afford moving out next door. We might have to do that kind of cheatsy stuff where you move them to a nearby lot that's cheap and then actually buy their house separately. Uh, so if we're going to do that, let's get a card that's worth a little bit. And we'll give that to them as like a little farewell gift. So. So. Thank you. Okay. My god. Simstreet's really acting up on me, huh? Oh, she has a bunch of... Okay, we could put that in her house, I guess. She has a bunch of stuff we could sell. So, Kissa, I know you're exhausted. But you and your man are moving out. Yeah, I know you're tired. Uh, shoot. Do I want to make them the active household? I'll make them the active household for now. So, let me grab Burl. Because they're not going to have enough money to... To move anywhere. So, we're going to send them to the empty lot for now. Yes. Everybody's getting unrouted. Everybody's acting silly. Uh, do you want to transfer the real estate held by the other family? No, I do not. So, the clones are moving out. Evicting the clones. That'll be a good episode name. Alright, we're moving out. Yeah, get out, Earl. Wait. What happened to the... Vray, did you goldify the couch? Come on. Phone friendship, reward certificate. Oh, well, that was supposed to be Nixie's, but I guess we'll sell it. Sorry, Nixie. We're selling your reward certificate. Uh, we're selling everything in our inventory. Ooh, these potions sell for quite a bit, too, huh? I am... Um... You could keep the tablet, I guess. You don't need this newspaper. You don't need this beeswax. Keep the street art kit. I think it'll be hilarious if we see Kissa hanging around town spraying things. Uh, we're going to sell this car. This way she'll be able to afford that lot. Sell these apples. Sell this wool spade. I wish there was like a sell all button. Okay, sell that. So can we afford to move here is the question. Barely. Just barely. 
Why can't she sell this megaphone? How much do I need for this? Dang, I need another K. Alright, sorry, you're selling your jewel. So now we are gonna move again. Yeah, sell the furniture. And we're moving right across the street. Awesome. Let's go. See, these are the creative workarounds you have to do. Are you heckling your girlfriend? Which, real quick, we're gonna get them married on the spot. So, we're cheating their, cheating their needs. A little bit. Just a little bit. And so, yeah, this is an extension of the Stronghold de Bluscari. This is like the little army barracks or something. Where... Maybe they would hold weapons here or whatever. It very into a little spell. She raised it from the ground and modernized it a little bit. This is a really, really basic house. I, maybe one day I'll go back to it and update it. But you know, a little kitchen, a dining room with no chairs in it. Let me remedy that real quick. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter. Put, put these ugly ass chairs here. I don't care. There. Bathroom, bedroom, living room. That's that. All right, romantic. Let's let's get them romantic real quick, and we'll get them married on the spot. Oh, come with his appearance. Can do a dip kiss. Uh, no woohooing. I don't think they'll have kids. I mean. Mm, they could, but I probably wouldn't do it for this Let's Play. Although, you know what? Now I kind of want to set them up with a kid. Well, like, we won't keep in touch with this family. But we'll, like, hover with them. They'll be right next door, so we'll see what's happening. You know what? I'm going to do that. I will do that. Uh, hold hands. Mm -hmm. However, we need to get them... Get them married real quick. Do a little... Not dip kiss. Uh, propose marriage. Okay, there we go. He's happy. Yay. The clones are engaged. <laughs> and real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Have private wedding. There we go. And now the clones are married. And real quick, we're gonna have them try for a baby. Alright, they're going in the shower to do it. Yeah, hop in the shower real quick. There we go. Dang, I kinda wanna set Trisha and um, Earl up with a kid now too. Oh my god, I want everybody to have kids now. Next episode. Alright, I didn't hear any pregnancy jingles. Your stuff not working, Burl? Uh, pregnancy... No, she's not prego. Try again. Oh. Zarn. Oh. <laughs> the nerd. There we go, they're trying again. Nothing? No. Alright, one more time. One more time and then we're cheating it. Jeez Louise, these these two. Freaking clones are crazy. There we go. I was gonna say the swimmer's not swimming. So Kissa is pregnant. We are gonna leave this episode at that. I think it was a little long serenade. No. No, no we're not dealing with you two anymore. Um we're gonna skip this Tuesday because I actually want to jump to the into the flames household and see why are they getting reset all the time and hopefully I could remedy that so we'll be back with this family Friday in Sims time hope you all enjoyed and peace